All right, you want a definition of a mess, Big John? Look at this. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, it's a Friday afternoon, not just any Friday afternoon. It's the one leading into the Memorial Day weekend, and I-4, always busy at an International Boulevard, right outside of Disney World, is closed because of that Good fire. Good grief. What How did that, a How'd that mess. start? There's no thunder That will in that stretch area. through Orlando. It will stretch through Lakeland. It will be a nightmare, and if you're headed in that direction, you might want to think of alternative <laughs> routes. <laughs> Look at that. That get you close. The mouse is behind that smoke. Somewhere. Ah, uh, well, all we got to do is worry about a little rain. Yeah. And actually, they might want some of that rain. And it could and, go to And them. actually, they're going to get some of this rain. Really? Yeah. This low is probably going to spread rain from Virginia all the way down to central Florida. Uh, how much rain depends on how close you are to the center of mm -hmm. the storm. All right, let's start first here with our live local Doppler Max 11 radar and everything is all clear. Tybee Island, Wilmington, Richmond Hill, Pooler, Hilton Head Island, everybody's doing just fine. Showers that are started already are across the northern tier of states, the Dakotas back to Minnesota, Chicago. Watch, however, as we come down to our part of the world again, and already a little shower's popped up Myrtle Beach. You look, Wilmington, North Carolina, Myrtle Beach, Charleston. This shower is just part of the system that we're watching offshore. The offshore low that may, in fact, become tropical, and if it does, all these clouds and all this moisture will start to work in our direction. At least that's what all the computer models are suggesting. Here Here's another model. This is for Savannah, and as we go into Saturday, we might get some inland showers and thunderstorms, but our focus is how this is now turned and is moving to the southwest and continues to do so. National Hurricane Center is suggesting this now has an 80% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone, perhaps as a depression or as a tropical storm. And if it did, it would become barrel. You're looking at Sunday, 1 o'clock, and that's when some of the heaviest bands are just now crossing through Chatham County with its center over Jacksonville. Showers all the way down to Orlando, showers all the way up to Richmond, Virginia as this continues to move inland. So straight ahead for us, we've got a lovely day tomorrow, high of 90 with sunshine, and then the Saturday, Sunday rain. Monday, Tuesday, we slowly start to warm up with more rounds of late day showers and thunderstorms expected. 90 degrees here now with a 48% relative humidity, lovely dry air, relatively speaking. 91 was our daytime high beverage pressure, right at 30 inches even if you're setting your barometer at home, that would be the time to do it. Look at our next tide, low at 557. This is the mouth of the Savannah River. High tide, 1156 tonight. Our sunset this evening at 822. That's looking in good shape as well. Here's your first alert Doppler Max 11 forecast for tonight. No worries. Some patchy fog late, but 67 for an overnight low with calm winds. And temperatures across the region will be in the mid to upper 60s. Couple of 70s in coastal areas, no problems. Closer in, Tybee 72, Wilmington at 70, Isle of Hope 68, Richmond Hill at 68 for lows tonight, Hardyville at 67, Bluffton 69, Hilton Head Plantation 70, Sea Pines at 72. Then highs tomorrow with lots of sunshine, mid 90s as you get closer to the coast, 90 and upper 80s. Hilton and head for an afternoon high of 86 degrees for tomorrow. Again, Savannah will be at 90, and it should be a dry day all day. The chance of showers and thunderstorms from that offshore low would start late Saturday night into Sunday. Now a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, perhaps some locally heavy rainfall. 84 would be Sunday's high. 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms for the special remembrances on Memorial Day 86. Then we keep the risk of showers and thunderstorms late in the afternoon, each and every afternoon. A normal summer feature for us right through the rest of the week. And remember Friday, that's the 1st of June. So so tonight, no problem, 67, 90 for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the better of the two weekend days. The Gullah Festival and the Hilton Head Arts Festival at Shelter, Shelter Cove both go Saturday and Sunday. You might want to check them out tomorrow. Pretty good idea there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here's another good idea. You